Investigating a homicide there, and police say the victim's brother may be responsible for the man's death. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth is live from the home where investigators are still waiting on a search warrant. And Josh, do we know a motive or any more details yet? No, we don't know very much at all at this point. They, they just got the search warrant to in, start investigating on the inside of this duplex literally about a half hour ago. We, they've been waiting here most of the day to get that search warrant. The crime scene unit just pulled up about a half hour ago. They've just recently gone inside, and that's where the victim's body still lies. Police got the call of a disturbance around 940. They say shots were fired, and the gunman drove off before they arrived. Once they did get to the home, the victim was already dead. And after a short search, the alleged gunman, again, a brother, to the victim, pulled back up to the house. He did. He surrendered with that incident, but we're not sure if he was truly coming back here to meet with us, come back to the scene. We're still trying. We haven't interviewed him yet, so we're still trying to get information as to why he came back here. We also spoke with several neighbors down, up and down the street, and they told us that uh, they really didn't know the people who lived here. They just moved in a few months back. The uh, suspect, as of right now, is only described as a male in his 20s. From Lee Summit, Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News.